this 997 Porsche 911 Turbo is in absolutely immaculate condition. It's a two owner car from new and it's been fully serviced up to date. It's done just 91,000 kilometres since it was brand new and it's a manual. It's a 2008 model. It's got navigation, working Bluetooth. I say that because Bluetooth is quite an expensive option in these and for some reason a lot of the 997s I've seen have not had it. This does have Bluetooth fitted and it works perfectly. The 997 Turbo is a twin turbo and it's got the 3.8 litre flat six. I'm sure if you're watching this video you've read up on all the specs of the 997 911 Turbo. The 911 Turbo offers a great balance of supercar performance and luxury. Despite the huge amount of horsepower at hand, you've got electric leather seats, memory seats, navigation in Bluetooth. There's even a switch here to stiffen up the suspension if you want to go to the racetrack. I think it's a great thing that it's a manual. I, I prefer um, any 911 in a manual. So it has had two owners since new. The car is in spotless condition. It's never been involved in a major accident at all and there's nothing on the register. Amazingly they are very reliable. Again that's something you can look up on the internet or you can even ring you can even ring up Porsche and ask them. It's got the Bose sound system. Uh, my, my dad actually has a 911 Turbo and he services at a Porsche dealership. I think he was saying for a, a general service it's about $650 plus any extras like obviously brakes or tyres or anything like that. Um, and the, the customer service apparently is second to none. And uh, yeah, he's found that um, in his experience the 911 Turbo has been surprisingly inexpensive to run. The other good thing about a 911 Turbo like this car is at this price point you're not going to be losing much money on it. I think we all know that Porsches have uh, gone up quite significantly in price over the past five or ten years. And even if you're looking at the previous model, the 996 Turbo, you'd be looking at about $100,000 or more. So be able to go into the newer 997 for around this price I think is excellent value. And with other supercars, whether it be M3, M5, AMG, whatever it might be, they generally they they go down in value and they continually fall. And they just keep falling until they're worth very, very little, almost nothing. Porsches, especially 911s, aren't like that. If you look up Porsche 911, don't even put in kilometres, don't even put in turbo, don't put in year. If you just put Porsche 911 or Carrera, price low to high, I would suggest the cheapest 911 on the market would be thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars. It's probably a private car and it's probably done two or three hundred thousand kilometres. If you look up Porsche Turbo, I think you'll find the lowest price of any turbo from any year would probably be seventy or eighty thousand dollars. But this car is in absolutely stunning condition. 
And if you are a fussy owner, or a fussy buyer, I should say, please come and have a look at this car. The wheels, brakes are good. It's a manual. I will open the, uh, the boot so we can see the engine. It just looks incredible from every angle. These plates do not come with the car. nice and clean in the engine bay. We have taken this car to a poor specialist we use and they've had a look over it. And uh, they have suggested it's a particularly good car and it's been well looked after. I think we might have spent literally a few hundred dollars, not thousands of dollars, a few hundred dollars on some very minor items. But if you are interested in a 911 Turbo, this is a car you must, must come and see. And if you want to know some more information on the car, please feel free to give us a call. You can speak to myself, Philip, or Richard. Probably the only problem I will say with buying a 911 Turbo is if you buy a 911 Turbo, I think you're always going to own a 911 Turbo. They're addictive. <laughs> They're just such good cars. Generally I find the people selling 911s or 911 Turbos generally just go into a newer one. And some people even buy older ones. They might have something like this and they'll buy a 911 from the 60s, 70s, 80s or 90s. The 997 first came out in 2005 and ran right up until about 2012. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any further questions or want some additional information on this car, please feel free to give us a call and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for watching.